Hello, my besties. How are you? Welcome to my DIY channel. Tweety, be quiet. <laughs> my name is Kathy. This is Tweety. If you haven't met us yet, and we make a lot of fun projects on the budget here. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button and become our bestie. <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to be making something cute with these adorable signs from the Dollar Tree. Look at them. Oh my goodness. So cute. And I'm going to show you how I transform my fireplace garland yeah, from Christmas to Valentine's. Isn't that pretty? I didn't have to add much to it at all. <laughs> all right, let's get started. Oh no, looks like my helper is out. So <laughs> I'm all on my own. <laughs> First, we are going to make a Valentine tree out of the Dollar Tree sign. Here's a barcode if you want to look it up online. Another option would be to make a tree out of a branch from the outside. And I did that in this video if you like to see instructions. First, I want to make the tree coordinate with my color scheme. So I need to change those hot pink cards to plaid. And I'm going to use the scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. And the tree comes with three large hearts and two small ones. So that's why I took off one of each and I'm just cutting out the shapes right now. Next, I'm going to use generous amount of Mod Podge and cover the hot pink uh, hearts with the plaid paper. And at first I wasn't sure if uh, it's gonna hold on glitter, but it does without any problem. And finish it off with the top coat of Mod Podge on all the new hearts. So that's how easily you can transform the sign to match your decor. I had nothing in hot pink, but I have a lot of red and black and white, and this is gonna match beautifully. Now I just want these trees to stand up and I have some scrap wood that I saved when my husband was building a deck. I'm so glad I did that. But you know, you can also buy small pieces of wood at a Dollar Tree. And here I just ask my husband to help me screw this uh, one to the other, just real quick. And Andre suggested adding two screws because that way the post won't spin around. So, okay, I trust his judgment. <laughs> you know me, I probably could do this with the hot glue, but this is gonna be a nice sturdy tree <laughs> or two. <laughs> Another option would be to use a paper towel holder, but I'm just using whatever I have on hand. Next, I'm going to paint my stands pink so they coordinate with the tree. I'm just diluting the paint with water so it's more like a stain. Cute pink stain, look at that. <laughs> Next, I want to add the lights to my trees and I'm so glad my bestie Martha sent me a pack of lights because I only had one. And even though the packaging is a little bit different, turns out they're exact same lights. So I'm so happy I can do the set. So I'm just spacing out the lights in the back of the sign and using a little bit of scotch tape to secure the cables in place. And just for an extra dollar, look at that more heart leaves. <laughs> you can use just your switch in the back and look at that. Takes it up a notch, right? <laughs> and I just realized what I did. You know what I did? That battery pack cannot be attached to the back of the sign because I got to put the battery pack on the back of my stand. <laughs> so I'm just using hot glue to secure it in the back there and reinforce it with a zip tie too. I should mention that I chopped off the wider parts of the trunk and also raised it up because I want my trees to be taller. Next, I want to make a coordinating bow and thank you to my other bestie, Martha, this one from Texas, for sending me this ribbon. <laughs> I'm also gonna use some Dollar Tree ribbon as well. And this is just a simple bow. This is how I like to do it. I measure a nine inch tail and measure another uh, nine inches folded in half, that's a four and a half inch loop. Another nine inches folded in half, another four and a half inch loop. And then you chop off the tail, um, you pinch in the middle and tie with the pipe cleaner or a piece of floral wire. And just straighten it out and nice simple bow. If you have more ribbon, go ahead, make another one on top of it. I just realized that I don't have much of this ribbon at all, so I'm just gonna cut it in half because I have to make two bows for my both trees. And it looks like all that I can do is just <laughs> fold it in half and just have one loop right there in the middle. Not ideal, but what can I do? I'm just gonna add a second type of ribbon. 
and uh, making the same bow like I did in the beginning except a little bit smaller because this ribbon is not wired it won't hold up that great and now I'm just gonna tie that bow in the middle and move my pipe cleaner to the back fluff it up and I think this is a cute enough bow for this tree uh, I didn't want the bow to be so much bigger with more loops because it would take away from the tree and I don't want that I just want the pop of color there um, to cover that trunk I'm just sliding that pipe cleaner under the zip tie and I'm gonna tie it back there and reinforce it with some hot glue And let's not forget to cut the fishtails. And I really like that uh, little bit of heart ribbon that I have. It's falling behind, so I'm just going to use a little dab of hot glue and attach that ribbon on top of the plaid. That way it's going to be more visible and it's going to stay in place. I think we just need a little cherry on top here. I mean a glitter heart. And take a look at our Valentine's tree. So much cuteness for Like to see these on my fireplace? Okay, but it's still Santa's workshop in here. <laughs> I love this so much. I didn't want to take it down. Seriously, this was so much fun channeling my inner child. But today we are going to transform it into Valentine's. And pulled away the emerald green and everything that looks like Christmas and now uh, just sorting out my ribbons I cannot save any of this except the buffalo check and that's why I added the buffalo check to my Valentine's trees and look at that bestie bow it's just perfect <laughs> let's just save it for next time so that garland is looking so sad <laughs> right now but as you can see I saved all the red, uh, black and white, and, and white ornaments. I also left the color coordinating picks hoping that I can make them work. As I wipe away the dust, look what I find. Some hay that I brought from church from the nativity scene. I'm just gonna save it here with my baby Jesus. Tell me if you do that. Do you bring a little bit hay from church uh, for good luck? And look at Coco. She always finds somebody to lay around with. Such a lazy dog. <laughs> All right, let's do this. First, I'm going to add this rose garland. I've had it for years. I think it's from Hobby Lobby. It's actually that pinkish red, but it's okay. Uh, I'm just intertwining that with my pine garland uh, using the pine tips to twist tie and attach the garland one on top of the other and you can see that it already adds a lot right I also have a nice red uh, rose bush uh, this one was on clearance at Hobby Lobby you can also get some nice roses at the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna add one at the end of each garland uh, because you know the other rose garland was too short and you need to spread out those flowers a little bit so just insert the stem upside down and twist tie the pine needles to attach these. 
For the center of my garland, I would like to add my carnations heart. And uh, I have a tutorial on my channel how to do that. It's very easy out of Dollar Tree carnations. You just use some foam. This foam was actually shipping foam that I recycled and simply insert the carnations heads all around the heart shape. So easy and expensive and such a nice big impact. I'm just using a little bit um, of a floral wire and insert it under my hanger there and tie it down. What do you think? I think it's a beautiful focal point. Of course you can make a bestie bow as well but since it's Valentine's why not a heart right? <laughs> Next uh, we want to add some ribbon and I have just a little bit of everything. These are leftovers from the Dollar Tree from last year. I haven't seen anything new. And I'm just cutting pieces to match uh, my buffalo check ribbon from Christmas, okay? So about two, three feet long pieces. And you had seen me do this many times. You pinch like a six inch tail. You're going to attach it to your garland by twist tying the pine tips, just like so. And then you're going to run your ribbon down loosely and attach it there on the side. leaving another six to eight inch tail, just like so. And you're going to repeat this on the other side. Six inch tail to a tie two pine tips, uh, run it loosely across and tie it down. So the Dollar Tree ribbon is just nine feet long. I have this one piece left. I'm going to cut it in half and make it work. <laughs> that happens sometimes. So this is what you're going to do. <laughs> you're going to make two little bundles like this. And we are going to just use a small piece of wire or a, I have ornament hook. <laughs> Tie it together and just, you know, squeeze it in your garland for that pop of color and that's going to make it work. <laughs> add the second one on the other side. Next, add a couple more roses. Next, we can add some heart picks or the clips. These are great too, whatever you have on hand. I'm just going to add one at the top of each corner and uh, the third one in the center. Actually, it looks a little bit funny exactly in the center. I'm just going to tilt it to the side. <laughs> Flap it up a little bit. That always helps. So cute. You saw these cute tags in the Dollar Tree haul, right? It's one of my favorites. I'm just going to attach one on each side. I wish I got more. If you have any burr spots in your garland, you might want to add some more picks. These I just pulled out of my tree since it's coming down and I'm just going to make my garland fuller. comment section with the rose emojis that would be so cool <laughs> and I'm so happy to enjoy the lights a little bit longer upgrading the look without spending much more recycling a lot of items that I already have and now I just need a couple throw pillows <laughs> this cute placemat is from the Dollar Tree we have a lot of embellishments from there and let's see what we can come up with okay 
So this placement is great because it has uh, two layers of fabric. So uh, I'm cutting the slit in the back and that's where I'm gonna add uh, my stuffing. But first we are going to attach a trim around the edge. And I love the pom-pom trim. If you haven't noticed, I use it in so many projects already. Uh, you really get a lot for your dollar. And as you attach it, just work in small sections uh, so your hot glue doesn't dry on you, okay? Next, I play around with my felt hearts and all the embellishments. Once I like the placement, I use hot glue around the edges. Of course, you can sew these things if you like, but uh, my pillow is not gonna be washable and I'm okay with that. I just realized these would make pretty placemats as well. Well, I need pillows, so I'm just gonna use some old stuffing, and I was surprised this one pillow had brown stuffing, <laughs> but it's okay, it goes because this is dark pillow anyway. I'm just gonna add in the corners first and then all over. You can also buy a cheap pillow at Walmart and use their stuffing, but you know, I just like to use what I have. And once it's nice and full, just close that slit in the back. And if you want, you can even cover it with couple patches or hearts. <laughs> and just like that, you get this adorable double-sided pillow. What? <laughs> For maybe two, three dollars? No more than that. <laughs> Wanna bake one more? I got this heart from Dollar General for just one dollar. I have some fabric here from Dollar Tree and some old pillow stuffing. First, I pull apart the heart. Uh, there's a thin burlap uh, layer on top of felt. We are going to add a, a second layer to cover the holes with the buffalo check fabric. So I uh, cut a rough shape, doesn't have to be exact because it's just going in between the layers. Tweety, get away or I'm gonna wax your legs over here. And trim the nails. <laughs> All right, so glue everything nicely, a little bit from the top as well, and then add back the burlap layer, leaving just a small pocket on the side to add some stuffing. Close it up when done, and look at that adorable pillow. And the last idea is to use the Dollar Tree pillow and add it to an existing pillow that you already have. This one is from my bestie Jen. I loved it throughout Christmas. And in the back, I'm just gonna attach the heart to it with a safety pin. And look how cute, Sweetie really loves it. Of course, anything that sparkles. And you know what? The sequence is reversible, so you get two looks for the price of one. What? <laughs> Look how cute that is. By the way, did you see what happened there? <laughs> Watch it one more time slowly. <laughs> That's what you get for walking all over. You silly bird, I love you so much. All right, my bestie. So take a look one more time at all these three pillows that we made and let me know which one is your choice because the sequence one is obviously Tweety's choice. I think mine is hmm, either the heart or the big pillow. Both.